winners, uh, we've got 67.9. That's going to be this one right here, bottom of the box in whiskers, not including the outliers. The outlier being this 55,000. So we have to come up with some kind of rule, and we, we're going to use, you know, kind of an arbitrary rule here to determine what should be basically an outlier that's going to go outside of the box and whiskers. Clearly, outliers are going to be quite important because they can uh, greatly distort numbers like the the mean or the average. Now, if I was going to look at this list of, of numbers and just figure out the what that number is, 67,000, I can organize the numbers from lowest to highest or highest to lowest, and there's the uh, 67, 9 right here, uh, not including the outlier. See, the outlier is going, going over. You can also use the min function. Now, the min function in Excel will choose the smallest number. So if I was to use the min function, I couldn't, I'd have to select all of this data, not including the outlier, and then it would take the smallest number. Uh, and, and that's another way that you can do it with an Excel just to practice that min function. All right, then we have the first quartile uh, excluding the median. So the first quartile excluding the median. So we're, we went from the bottom of the whisker to the bottom of the box. So here's the first quartile at the 69,700. Before we further explain and dig down on the quartile one, it's easier to move down to the median or quartile two, two names for the same thing, the median or quartile two, where we are at the 70,900. That's represented on the box and whiskers by this line, which is different than the X the X representing the average or mean, the line representing uh, the median or quartile two. Notice that those two key terms, which are most often used, the average or the mean, and the median or quartile two, both have those two kind of names to them. So you got, you, but most of the time people are gonna use uh, the median as the term. So what does that mean? It's it's kind of like uh, if, if you've seen the, the Rocky movies, where the advice to Rocky, the boxer, is he's saying, I see three of them out there, and the coach says, you gotta hit the one in the middle, right? That's what the median is, hit the one in the middle. So when we look at the average or mean, last time with the X, that was when we added them all up, and then we divided by the count, which in this case was 51. When we take a look at the median, we hit the one in the middle. So now this data is ordered from lowest to highest. Here's the count on the right-hand side. If I look at simply the count at 51 and divide by two, we're at 25.5. So the middle number is that uh, 7,900, right? The 7,900, which means above it, you've got 29 numbers above it from one to 25. And below it, you've got uh, 51, the count here, minus uh, 26. You've got 25 below it, right? So the one that's exactly in the middle is the 70,900. So remember, that's not always gonna be the same. It often will not be the same as what the mean or average uh, calculation will be. This is two different ways. We're trying to find that center point. So if we did that with a formula, there's actually two formulas you can do in Excel. You can use the quartile for formula, which would be equal quartile and then you're, you're, you're going to be picking the data set here. So this is the array, then the quartile, and it's quartile two to represent, uh, two represents quartile two. Or more commonly, you would use simply the median function. So you just select the median function and then take this range of data and Excel will pick the one in the middle for you. All right, so now that we know that, it's easier to go back into quartile one which is this 69,700 again. So what does that mean? Well, we're breaking it out into quartiles. So last time we broke out the middle, that's the middle one. So what is quartile one gonna be? It's gonna be, I'm gonna take everything that goes down to this line and take the one in the middle. Now you're gonna ask, you might get, if you get technical on this, you're gonna say, well, do I go from one to 26 and then take the one in the middle, including the median, or do I exclude the median? And the default in Excel is typically to exclude the median. So we're gonna go from one to 25, excluding the median, and then take the one in the middle, right? So if I take the 25, if I take the 25 divided by uh, two, 
we're at you know the 12 5 there's the 69 7 in the middle uh, and that means that there's going to be 12 above it so so you've got numbers 1 to 12 above it and then below it we can just count them 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 not including the the 26 the median right here because it is excluded now you could uh, do the quartile count where you include the median but the default is to exclude it so you got to kind of keep that in mind when you're doing your calculations all right so we're going to go back up now we we're now into the middle number and then we of course have quartile three uh so that's going to be the top of the box so that's the 72 8 of course and we can think about how to do that if we had a manual calculation then we'd have to say okay this is the middle point the median quartile two and this is the end point so now we're taking the middle number between uh between the the middle here and the end for for the next quartile and so that would be then the uh, q3 excluding the median and of course there's a function for it and that would be the quartile function again in excel same as this function up top choosing this uh, this number set and then with a comma the argument now being a three because we're in quartile three and then we've got the max point which is the 24 2 uh the 24 2 which is the top of the whisker and that does not include the outliers so if i was to do that manually i can then scroll down and i can sort my data these two we've declared to be outliers so there's the 24 2 which is the top of the whisker and if we were to do a formula for it you can use a max function which is a common function which is great you could use the max and then select this data but you can you would have to select the data that doesn't include the outliers so that it picks as the max of the number not including the outliers all right 